can you see an electron going around an atom? Okay. That's what he asks. Mm -hmm. The answer is no. We cannot observe an electron going around an atom because the old guys are really into this, right? Mm -hmm. They're they're in this old phase right. from the 1905, 1910s, right. 1920s where it's worked. Right. Bohr did this and it worked. Sommerfield yep. did this and now he's explaining this stuff. Yep. They're trying to like get like some kind of visual mechanistic understanding of what's happening inside of the atom. Mm -hmm. Okay. But the new guys aren't aren't really yeah, sold they're on. Not, it. They're not rocking with it. Right. So Heisenberg specifically is not rocking with it. So he has this like crazy um, case of hay fever. He, he had allergies all his life. So he went to this um, this island off the North Sea in Germany. Um, and he just like stayed there all on his own. Mm -hmm. And that's where he comes up with this magician shit. Oh, my God. OK, on his own. Uh, on an island trying to recover from yeah, allergies. Yeah, on, on his bout of hay fever, just yeah. sweating in the bed. Sweating in the bed, and he has this epiphany. Yep. And his epiphany has to do with the same. One of his big, he was a huge fan of Einstein, mm -hmm. okay? And he loved the fact that Einstein used this, like, Mox positivism to right. say, what is the stuff that I can measure? What is my experience? And he asked the same thing about this. His first page is like a manifesto about philosophy mm -hmm. and how physics needs a new direction. And like, it's just this pretentious, like, it's it, it's like this tirade on yeah. why everyone else is wrong, yeah, okay? Yeah, yeah. But his, the, the central tenet is, can you see an electron going around an atom? The answer is no. Like, the, we can see planets move around, yeah, but yeah. we can't do that with this stuff. Right. What we can see is their transitions from different energy levels, mm -hmm. and we can see how bright those transitions are mm -hmm. that's what we should be concerned with mm -hmm. so he develops a new quantum description for the kinematics and the mechanics of atoms that's mm -hmm. what he called it and it started just because now you got this language mm -hmm. right where now you don't have to care about what the electron mm -hmm. is doing. doing right 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 you you it's that positivism concept you, yeah. you change the, ex the experimental framework of how you think yeah about yeah it. how you even think about it now you got these quantum states, states. yes Right. And oh, what are the quantum states? It's like now we start getting in the whole Copenhagen interpretation. Right. It's like, duh, don't yeah, ask. Yeah, so. <laughs> and now, now we're, we're starting to piss off Einstein. Actually, a funny story. So Heisenberg told Einstein yes. that like, I'm a huge fan of yours and like the whole mock and positivism, like your philosophy is amazing. Um, so I actually used it to do this. This is when Einstein and Heisenberg were in a debate. Yeah. Einstein apparently said, you know, a good joke is only funny the first time. <laughs> what a dick. Yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty, that's. <laughs> It's kind of a it's dick like, move. It's like Heisenberg is like 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 way younger than you. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. thinks thinks of you as his idol. Right, right. Like he was born when you wrote the 1905 papers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's so funny, dude. That's 